Hey, whiteboard. You getting the readings I'm sending to you? There are a few different traces of magic, but some of them I recognize from items like your key. Some of them you directly produce, but some I can't identify. Huh, a few of those traces seem to match energy produced by the Cirque. Is it possible that the energy signals you found in the footage are coming from the Cirque? That wouldn't make any sense. Any signal produced by the Cirque should be contained by it. First things first, how are the DNA samples I gave you, Whiteboard? Yes, the magical elements you produce match up with the DNA, and we can start working to produce a new device you want so badly. Good. I want the finished product done by next month, you know, in case anything else shows up around here. Heh, <laughs> you always have some form of paranoia going on. Well, better to be safe than sorry. Alright. What's the next review I'm doing? The episode's called Flutter Brother. <laughs> well, whatever is wrong with the universe, I can safely say that Zypher is one of the most annoying characters in the series. That's why I'm excited to take a look at the good, the bad, and what I think overall in Flutter Brother. Well, while in the opening I mentioned I didn't like most of this episode, I do have some positive points. For one, I felt that the introduction of Fluttershy's parents were fantastic in this episode. Not only did they have some great lines, they also felt like believable parents to Fluttershy, hearkening back to the Flutters that we saw in the first season, and providing an excellent contrast to Zypher later in the episode. I also felt like the main pairing of characters worked well in this episode. It feels that this season has more pairings of main characters than before, with hit or miss results. The pairing of Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash worked really well for the conflict provided, although Rainbow was not as well written as Fluttershy, mainly being there to play off Zypher. I also have to say that most of the comedy that wasn't focused on Zypher was pretty fantastic. From the small Angel Bunny subplot running through the episode to the weird swear words in Equestria, this episode had a lot of great moments in terms of comedy. I'm sorry, but I am just so, uh, so peeved right now. Uh, oh, excuse my language. Oh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? I also enjoyed the song sequence near the end of the episode and was really impressed by Zypher. His singing voice and voice actor, Ryan Beal, was a great pick for the character, despite how annoying he could get at some points. Now, let's take a look at the problems in this episode. Before we get to the bulk of this section, I have to say that this episode had a lot of problems when it came to story structure, spending very little time with Zypher trying to change his ways, and deciding to take him all the way to graduating from main therapy school. I would have even taken the reasoning that he's taking baby steps, as he said near the end of the episode, and had Zypher going back to main therapy school at the end of the episode. While it's unclear as to how long the time skip is at the end, it really does cut Zypher's character development short. I also don't like the dialogue in this episode. It felt much more basic and repetitive in the explanation of the fact that, hey, Zypher doesn't apply himself. Now we get to the fun part of the section. Zypher Breeze. Ahem. I would like to speak about this topic, if you don't mind. Um, go ahead, plushy shy. I would like to start off by saying that Zephyr isn't a bad idea for a character. In fact, he could have actually been really interesting. A pony who feels that their free spirit and destiny isn't determined by a cutie mark. But no! We just get a character defined by the fact that he doesn't like working. Almost every single line out of Zephyr is stressing how much he doesn't like work. Zypher makes me so friggin' angry. Steve, you said a bad language word. Now, almost every joke that involves Zypher is cringe comedy, which, as I've stated before, does not work. Zypher could have been an adult blank flank. It's not as though the show hasn't brought up that idea in the past. What is life? Is it nothing more than the endless search for a cutie mark? And what is a cutie mark but a constant reminder that we're all only one bugbear attack away from oblivion? And what of the poor gator, flank forever blank, destined to an existential swim down the river of life to an unknowable destiny? Zypher's design also annoys me for some reason. He looks like a combination between Cheese Sandwich and the Flim Flam Brothers with a beard! Who decided to put stubble on anything related to MLP? THAT DOESN'T COUNT! In fact, the idea that Zephyr could have been a blank flank would have made a better moral than the one presented. This episode could have had a message about the benefit to experimentation and free-spiritedness, to an extent that it doesn't hurt your friends and family. Robin, are you okay? WHY COULDN'T YOU HAVE DONE THAT MORAL?! I mean, a lot of the fandom is made of artists and creators who do what they do out of passion and identify as free spirits. They break the rules of conventional society by enjoying a show that's made for little kids, or it's outside the typical norm for their gender. It almost feels insulting to the fan base that they would do this kind of moral! WHO IS THAT?! Robin, did you see the new Game of 
throat smelling. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Like R plus R, right? Excuse me, pardon me. Are you wearing birth, sir? I'm having a mental breakdown. I'll see you in 10 minutes when I'm sane. I forgot how touchy he is about spoilers. All right, I'm cool. Let's uh, let's go take a look at the final thoughts in this episode. In all seriousness, this episode sucks. I hated Zypher Breeze and almost every literal aspect about him. No joking around, I had to stop this episode halfway through and just take a break when I was watching it for the review. One of the only other times I've had to do this was Simple Ways, which is the absolute worst episode in the series. I'm not saying this was the worst episode in the show's history, but it's definitely in my top 10, and I'm going to need to binge watch Batman the Animated Series to recover. However, there are some good parts. I liked Fluttershy's parents, the dynamics between the two main characters, and even the song near the end of the episode. On all though, skip this episode. I truly can't describe how much I hate this episode. My name is Robin0928 and I will see you guys next time. Alright, uh, we good to go? Alright, sensors are hot, tests are ready to begin. Okay. Test starts in three, two, one. It's morphin' time! <laughs>